Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using iteration of parameters part 3. So here, we are going to find the general solution of the given differential equation using y equal to yc plus yp. We will find yc and yp. Okay, so let's get going. Problem solve y double dash plus 4y equal to 4 secant square 2x or d square y by dx square plus 4y equal to 4 secant square 2x using variation of parameters method. Here, y dash is nothing but d square y by dx square or y double dash or y2 is nothing but d square y by dx square. Okay, so here we are given a differential equation of order 2. Now let's begin the problem. Given differential equation, y double dash plus 4y equal to 4 secant square 2x. Or we can write y double dash as d square y by dx square plus 4 into y equal to 4 secant square 2x. Right? And we know that d square y by dx square can be written as capital D square y, where d is a differential operator. We have written this in differential operator form. Plus 4y equal to 4 secant square 2x. Now take y common from these two terms, we'll get d square plus 4 into y equal to 4 secant square 2x, which is an operator form. Say f of d into y equal to some function of x, I'll name it as r of x, where f of d equal to d square plus 4 and r of x is 4 secant square 2x. Now we'll find the general solution of this given differential equation using y equal to yc plus yt. Where yc is a complementary function, we'll get using the auxiliary equation and we'll get yp by using yc. Okay. And also we have a separate formula. We'll see that later. So let's begin with the auxiliary equation. And one more thing here, equation 1 or the given equation both are same. We have written the given differential equation in operator form here. Okay. Fine. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we are having f of d d square plus 4 let's replace differential operator with m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 4. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 4 equal to 0. Now we need to find the root so let's take plus 4 to RHS it becomes m square equals to minus 4. Then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 4, which is equal to plus or minus square root of, we can write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4. Now split the square root as square root of minus 4 into, sorry, square root of minus 1 into square root of 4. Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i, so we'll replace square root of minus 1 with i, so we'll get i into square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i 2. The roots are real, sorry. The roots are complex conjugate here. We know that when m equal to a plus r minus ib, yc, complementary function is given by e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Right? In case of a0, we'll get e power 0 into x, which is e power 0. And also, e power 0 is 1, so you'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, which is c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Let's now write the gen sorry, complementary function using this formula.
the complementary function looks like y is equals to this compare plus or minus i2 with plus or minus iv then for b equal to 2 we'll get y is equals to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x okay now let y p equal to just replace c1 and c2 parameters by variables or functions of x a and b we'll get y p equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x okay where a and b are functions of x and you can compare this yp with a u plus b v so that you will get b u and v where u is equals to cos 2x and v equal to sin 2x so here we will find a and b using the formula we will find a using minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 into dx and we will find b using u into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 into dx okay if you observe we are having u v1 minus v u1 in both the formulae so firstly we will begin with u v1 minus v u1 so let's find u v1 minus v u1 firstly u v1 minus v u1 is equal to u into v1 is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x minus v into u v1 sorry v u1 here u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x which is equal to u cos 2x into v1 derivative of v with respect to x minus v into u dash derivative of cos 2x with respect to x is equal to cos 2x into derivative of sin 2x with respect to x is 2 cos 2x minus of sin 2x into derivative of cos 2x with respect to x is minus 2 sin 2x right is equal to 2 into cos 2x into cos 2x cos square 2x minus into minus plus 2 into sin 2x into sin 2x is sin square 2x or we can write it as 2 sin square 2x plus 2 cos square 2x now take 2 common we will get 2 times sin square 2x plus cos square 2x since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so this becomes 2 into 1 which is equals to 2 therefore u v1 minus v u1 equal to 2 we got u v1 minus v u1 let's now find a and b we'll find a using the formula integral minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 into dx this equals to integral minus v your u is cos 2x v is sin 2x so we will get minus sin 2x into r of x 4 secant square 2x by u v1 minus v u1 is 2 into dx this equals to minus 4 by 2 into integral sin 2x into secant square 2x which is equal to minus 2 integral sin 2x into we can write secant square 2x as secant 2x into secant 2x into dx is equal to minus 2 integral sin 2x into now we will replace this secant 2x with cos 2x because sin sorry secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta okay so we'll replace it with 1 by cos 2x 
into secant 2x dx which is equals to minus 2 into integral sin 2x into 1 by cos 2x is tan 2x right or just write sin 2x by cos 2x into secant 2x into dx then a becomes minus 2 integral since sin theta by cos theta equal to tan theta so we can replace sin 2x by cos 2x with tan 2x into secant 2x dx since we know that integral tan ax secant ax dx equals to 1 by a secant ax here we won't write any integral constant because already we are having two constants arbitrary constants in yc okay that's enough it's not necessary to write again so this becomes minus 2 into for a equal to 2 we'll get 1 by a sorry 1 by 2 secant 2x if 2 gets cancelled you'll get minus secant 2x therefore a equal to minus secant 2x right let's now find b b is given by integral u into r of x by u v1 minus u v1 into dx is equals to integral now substitute u r of x and u v1 minus v u1 value we have u cos 2x into r of x is 4 secant square 2x by u v1 minus v u1 is 2 into dx is equals to bring this 4 by 2 outside the integral you will get 4 by 2 integral cos 2x into secant square 2x into dx is equals to 2 integral cos 2x into we will write secant square 2x as secant 2x into secant 2x right let's now replace secant 2x since secant theta equals to reciprocal of cos theta so we will replace secant 2x with reciprocal of cos 2x for our convenience okay let's now cancel cos 2x then we will get 2 integral secant 2x dx since we know that integral secant ax dx equals to 1 by a log mod secant ax plus tan ax okay then for a equal to 2 we will get 2 into 1 by 2 into log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x or log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x whatever it is this equals to log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x so therefore b equal to log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x see we got a and b let's now write yp we have yp equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x right let's substitute a and b here then we get yp equal to a minus secant 2x into cos 2x plus b log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x into sin 2x this equals to minus secant 2x into cos 2x plus sin 2x into log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x or you can write it as log mod tan 2x plus secant 2x it can be anything okay this equals to minus now replace secant 2x with 1 by cos 2x since secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta into cos 2x plus sin 2x into log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x 
Now cancel cos 2x, we'll get y b equal to minus 1 plus sin 2x into log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x. So we got y p and already we are having y c. Let's now write the general solution using y equal to y c plus y p. Therefore, the general solution of the given equation or equation 1 is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x yp minus 1 plus sin 2x into log mod secant 2x plus tan 2x this completes the problem so we have seen a problem using variation of parameters method in this video so we have completed part 3 i hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye